Good evening, everyone. This is Chris from the 365. I'm back at Sumeron Studios after a day of touring the fire areas uh, from the Wall Fire. So I managed to get up to the intersection of Chinese Wall Road and Swedes Flat Road and take some video there. I also was able to take some video of the uh, helicopters that were going in and uh, putting out the last of the fires in that area and of some of the general surrounding areas and everything. So the real information most people want to know is how did the area fare? And as far as I could tell, completely unexpert um, version is everywhere I saw that there was a structure, there was a fire, uh, a team of firemen that had been there to save it. So I didn't see actually any houses, we shouldn't say structures. I didn't see any houses burn. I, I can't say I saw any structures burned either, but there was some indications that maybe some outbuildings might have gotten touched a little bit. Um, there was a lot of property burned, but overall I would say the area fared very well considering the amount of fire that was coming out of there last night. So uh, what you will see in this video coming up is uh, all that video of this, of, of the day that I did today, and all of the um, effects the fire had in that general area. Just some uh, views. I didn't take pictures of anyone's houses. I didn't take pictures of anything that uh, would be personal. I didn't want anybody to find out if their house had burned or not from this cast. I'd rather have the officials do that. So uh, I just want to thank all of the firefighters who led us through all the barriers and the officers that we spoke with and everybody. That was It was really great to talk to all of them. They did a fantastic job. They were all uh, a little tired but very happy to be there. Very happy that they were able to do such a great job for all of you guys. So whenever you see your next firefighter, whether they be from our county or not because there was a lot of people from a lot of areas that I saw. I saw San Francisco. I saw all kinds of areas. So any firefighter you see, you need to thank them. Any law enforcement personnel you see, you need to thank them because they are right now going through those areas that are evacuated and making sure that no one's looting or your stuff's safe. So thank them every chance you get. Write them emails. Bring them food. Just walk up and shake their hands. We all owe them a lot. So uh, that this will be my last cast for tonight. Uh, I'll be back to my normal cast tomorrow unless the fire f f flares back up. As far as I can tell, it had calmed down a lot. It's 25% contained right now, which is up from what it was before. There's about 5,000 structures that they said was threatened, but that was a few hours ago. And... Um, I just, I, from my observations, I didn't see a lot of fire in the areas I was at. That doesn't mean it's out, but it's definitely less than it was yesterday. So I'm hoping that it'll be out by tomorrow. We'll get a newscast tomorrow about it being done. I'm sorry, a news bulletin about it being, uh, being out. So if that happens, then I'll resume my normal uh, programming, which I've done for the past couple days. If not, I'll continue to report on the wildfire until it's out. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please share this if you want uh, people to see what the area looks like within the fire areas. And as I said, I was mostly in the Bangor area near uh, Swedes Flats Road and that general area near uh, on the Port Road, Swedes Flat Road, um, Chinese Wall Road, that kind of area. So I don't have any information about any place I did not visit today, but you can get a firsthand look at what those uh, areas look like from this cast. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye. We are at the Swedes Flat staging area at the Wall Fire. Just taking a quick little look around here. They have managed to keep the fire off of Oral Banger Highway, as far as we can tell. They did an excellent job, as always.
Uh, in the road? Hi everybody, this is Chris Saraga from the 365. I'm on the intersection of Swedes Flat Road and Chinese Wall Road, where the fire, they believe, started. And I just thought I'd give you a quick look around here. Just take a little pan around. It has been burned over from this area. It does seem like the fire has been stopped. I can see a structure from here that has been saved. Uh, there's still some smokers back behind me here back in that general area it's still a little smoky it's definitely been burned over but i think the fire crews did an admiral job of saving this entire area so far what we've surveyed and our uh, travels today it looks like there has not been very many structures uh, damaged or anything um, even well not very many structures damaged and not anything but general land burned over from what I could see. Anyway, what uh, we're going to continue up Swedes Flat Road. We only have a little bit of daylight left right now, so we'll try to get some more uh, video from, for you. I'm going to take a quick pan of this area and be right back with you.